Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is September 14th and I just found the beta program for Samsung One UI 4 with the upgrade to Android 12. Now you're able to sign up for this one here today. I believe it was just available to sign up and register this morning. Now I just found it just about five minutes ago. I signed up for it, registered for it, came downstairs, restarted my phone. Here's the first time of me looking at this. So this actually looks to be pretty long. I don't even know what size this thing is just yet. Uh, so the size is 2.5 gig security patch of September 1st with the version here. This is the S21 Ultra unlocked with the AT&T SIM card inside and it ends with ZUID. Now again, I don't know what any of this stuff here right here says. I just want to let you guys know that the, the beta program is here right now. We're going to go through some of this and take a look at what is new. Then I'm going to write all of this down and then I'm going to come back with a more in-depth video looking at every single thing, what is different, what is new, maybe some of the things that is not even listed here. But that's going to be for the next video. So make sure you guys hit on subscribe and also hit the bell for notifications. So when that video does pop out, you guys are ready for it. I basically don't want to make this video too long because I want to make sure that I get this video out today uh, as fast as I can. So this way you guys can also sign up. So where are you able to sign up and get ready and, and get into this basic Data program where you want to go inside of your Samsung members application and basically I just opened this up just a little bit ago about six seven minutes ago I scrolled down I noticed that uh, Samsung team wrote something and I believe it was this morning at 8 13 and it says official now live I noticed this right away and usually anytime that you see this small little banner this is where you want to go inside of benefits and then you want to sign up so here you can see it's with Android 12 beta program for Samsung one UI 4 uh, s21 s21 plus s21 ultra Ultra. It is live right now. Let's see here. It's it's available for people that have it on Sprint, T-Mobile, or a Samsung unlocked device, which is this one right here. Now, once you notice this thing going on, what you want to do is inside of your Samsung members application, go inside of benefits. And then underneath the benefits, you're going to scroll all the way down or at least maybe read some of these banners. But this is where you go to One UI Beta Program and you can join now. Now, once you take a look at this one, you hit on register, you can read it. Basically for me, all I have to do is just with withdraw because I've already signed up for it. But basically once you sign up for it, this is where I usually just restart my phone. When I turn on my phone right back, I go inside of settings. You're going to go all the way down to software update download and install and it just basically pops right up now it might not be popped up within the first minute so you just wait one or two and then you'll be able to do it so first off let's just go through some of the stuff that is kind of talking about here let's download it and then let's move on so samsung one ui4 is all about you your comfort, your privacy, your self-expression, redesigned for a seamless experience across the Galaxy devices. One UI 4 keeps the things you love while adding a wide array of new features and enhancements and more customizations than ever, so you can make it your own. More intuitive, more fun, more secure, and easier than ever. Check out the changes below. Now, before we go on and read all these categories here and everything that's new, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on the latest updates or really anything brand new. If you own a Samsung phone, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And as I mentioned from before, this is just a high overview of what is new. I'm going to have a more in-depth video right after this coming up. Basically, just have to give these things a test and, and see exactly what is is new. So for the home screen, the home screen widgets have been redesigned to give you more information at a glance while also making your home screen more stylish. You also get recommendations for widgets that may be useful for you. Now for the lock screen, you can now change the audio output to a different device such as headphones or a speaker right from the lock screen, which is pretty nice because usually you had to do that, you know, from inside of here when you go inside of media. So as long as your phone was unlocked, you hit media and then you can change it. So I'm really glad that they made it uh, available on the lock screen. You'll also get customized controls depending on which music app you're using. Uh, and the next one is a new voice recorder widget for lock screen lets you record voice memos without unlocking your phone. A monthly calendar appears on the calendar widget to help you keep track of your events from the lock screen. For always on display, you can set the always on display turn on whenever you receive a notification, which is really cool. Always on display was only either on, it was off, it was a schedule or tap to show. So now you can set the always on display to turn on whenever you receive a notification. New animated stickers are available. 
For a quick panel, uh, manage your notifications more comfortably with an enhanced layout and integrated section of alert and silent notifications. The brightness bar in the quick panel is larger, so it's easier to see and adjust. Uh, dark mode, wallpapers, icons, illustrations are now darkened automatically to provide a more consistent look and more comfortable for your eyes. Change charging effects. New visual effects appear when you start charging to help you check the charging speed. Very interesting. So again, charging effects. New visual effects appear when you start charging to help you check the charging speed. That's going to be very interesting. I read that twice because I wanted to reread it to see exactly what it was meaning. And I'm pretty excited to take a look at that. Samsung keyboard, get your emojis, GIFs, stickers directly from the keyboard with a single button. Self-expression is a tap away. Looking to express something new, combine two emojis and then add an animation so you can really get your feelings across. New animated stickers are available for download. Keep your grammar and spelling on point with the new writing assistant powered by Grammarly. Uh, so inside of your Samsung keyboard, they added in Grammarly, probably when you take a look at your grammar and, and uh, you know, text uh, corrections, things like that. Tips, preview videos now appear when you enter the tips app, helping you learn everything your Galaxy can do. Sharing, you can now customize the list of apps that appear on this share panel to reduce clutter and scroll left or right across the list of apps, people for quicker access. When you try to share pictures that have problems like poor focus or framing, you'll get suggestions for fixing them so your pictures always look their best. Camera, holy cow. Underneath the camera, enjoy a simpler, clearer layout with a preview that shows only the information you need. The scene optimizer button will only appear in photo mode if there's low light or you're scanning a document. Settings for portrait and night modes are now more intuitive. Lens and zoom. See the zoom level on the lens icons for easier zooming, even in modes that only uh, support one lens. Video that never misses a moment. Recording now starts immediately after you tap the record button instead of when you release it. In photo mode, touch and hold the shutter button to start recording a video. Drag your finger to, to lock icon to continue recording without having to hold the button down. So that's cool. So you can drag your finger to the lock icon. So if you're pressing and holding, so basically if you're in photo mode, if you press and hold on the shutter button to start recording the video, you can drag your finger to a lock button. You can let go of it and now it's going to start recording. Single take, add extra time while recording in single take so you don't miss an important moment. Uh, after recording is finished, the content selection menu has been improved to help you easily change choose the perfect shots. Pro mode, setting ha settings have been reorganized for a cleaner look. When grid lines are on, horizontal level indicators help you line up the perfect shot. Enhanced scan features. After scanning a document, you can zoom in for fine editing. When you scan a QR code, you can choose from several options depending on the type of QR code. Gallery. Stories now show a video preview on the cover and a highlight video inside. You can also see where each picture is in a story was taken on a map. More options are available for sorting albums that contain a lot of photos. Album covers are now shown at the top of the screen when you open albums. Search suggestions have been improved to help you find pictures and videos. Recent searches are also suggested. Remastered pictures can now be reverted to their original versions at any time, even after they're saved. You can now edit the date, time, and location of the pictures and videos uh, were taken. Photo and video editor. F add fun emojis and stickers to your pictures and videos. Create video collages by com combining multiple images and videos from your gallery. The new light balance option lets you edit the tone of your pictures more easily. The highlight reel editor has also been enhanced to give you even more control. Revert edited videos back to their original versions at any time, even after they're saved. Cut out a face, pet, building, or any other object from a photo and paste it onto a different one. AR emoji. Use an AR emoji as your profile picture and contacts in Samsung account. You can choose from over 10 poses or create your own expressions. New AR emoji stickers that show only your face have been added. Have fun decorating your, your photos and sharing them with your friends. Make cool dance videos with your AR emojis. Choose templates from 10 different categories, including fun, cute, and party. Uh, use your own drawings to create unique clothing for your AR emojis. Multitasking. Pin the window option menu to the top of a pop-up window to make it easier to access. Easily resize picture and picture windows with pinch zoom. 
Keep your current app in view while using edge panels. Blurring has been removed to help you see more at once. Settings. The new safety and emergency menu lets you manage your emergency contacts and safety information all in one place. Improved search features help you find the settings you need when you need them. Uh, you'll get suggestions for related features depending on what you search for. Digital well-being. Keep your eyes on the road with the new driving monitor. You'll get reports on how much you used your phone and which apps you've used. Clock. The dual clock widget now shows different background colors for each city depending on whether it's day or night. Calendar. The new calendar layout lets you add events instantly. You can also find events more easily with improved search features. A new home screen widget shows your monthly calendar along with today's events. Create shared calendars and invite other Galaxy users to join. For messages, photos, videos, web links, and other content will now appear in search results in the Messages app. My Files. Search features have been improved. You can still find the files you're looking for even if there's a typo. The recent files area has been expanded to help you more easily find files you've used recently. Samsung Internet. Get more search suggestions when you enter text in the address bar. Results will appear within all new design. The new search widget helps you find what you're looking for right from the home screen. To protect your privacy, Samsung Internet will automatically start in secret mode if you were using secret mode during your last browsing, browsing section. Samsung DeX. App compatibility has been improved, making more apps resizable. Change the touchpad scrolling direction in DeX settings to match your personal preference. Underneath device care, the main screen shows battery and security issues, making it easier to solve problems quickly. Your phone's overall status is shown as an emoji, hoping you check the status at a glance. Now you can get the right Samsung members diagnostic from, from device care. If something seems wrong with your phone, try the diagnostic tests to find out what the problem is and get suggestions for solving it. Samsung Health, a new tab layout at the bottom of the screen helps you access the features you need more easily. The new My Page tab shows your profile, weekly summary, badges, personal bests. Uh, for your gender selection, you can now choose other or prefer not to say. It's, not, it's now easier to invite your friends to team challenges by sending a link. Additional snacks have been added to the food tracker. Bixby routines, more conditions are available for your routines. Start a routine during a call or when a certain notification arrives. Make your routines do more. You can now turn on enhanced processing with a routine. There are also more options for connecting and disconnecting Bluetooth devices. Reorder actions by touching and holding actions uh, on the edit page. Advanced options have also been added to let you wait before an action starts, confirm actions and more. We've removed restrictions for some combinations of conditions and actions so you can do even more with your routines. Create custom icons for your routines using the camera or image from gallery. Uh, accessibility. Perform actions more quickly by moving your mouse pointer to one of the four corners of the screen. Adjust contrast and size at the same time with custom display, high contrast or large display. Access accessibility features more quickly with a floating button that's always available. More visibility options are available to meet your needs. You can reduce transparency and blur and or make the screen extra dim. Set different colors for each app's notifications so you can easily determine where notifications are coming from. Magnifying Magnifier window has been merged with the new magnification menu, giving you more options and more control for magnifying content on the screen. Privacy. This is the last category. Privacy. See which apps are accessing sensitive permissions such as location, camera, or microphone in permission usage history. You can deny permissions for any apps you don't feel comfortable with. A green dot will appear in the upper right corner of the screen when, when any app is using the camera or microphone. So you can see in an app is recording uh, or if an app is recording, you without your consent, you can also use quick panel controls to temporarily block all apps from using the camera microphone. So this is something that I already have on the on the Pixel 5 and also the Pixel 4 
uh, actually is on the Pixel 5 and the 5a when it comes down to the, the little green dot on the top corner uh, and also a quick panel that you'd be able to stop all of that so it would basically turn off permissions from any application that uses camera location or microphone it's actually pretty cool uh, take more control over apps that want to access your location for apps that only need to know your general area such as weather apps you can allow access to your approximate location so they can't determine exactly where you are sometimes you need to copy sensitive information like passwords or credit card numbers but you don't want it to fall into the wrong hands you can choose to be notified anytime an app access Accesses content copied to the clipboard in another app. Some apps may need to be updated uh, separately after the, the One UI 4 upgrade. So basically, once I upgrade this thing right now, give this thing an update, uh, then you might be able to see, or later on, I might see that there's going to be more additional updates after this one if there has been any bugs or issues with anything that we're talking about here. So all these different categories have so many different new things going on. Again, I'm going to write all of this down basically consolidate it and actually show you all of these things in action rather than just reading them. Uh, and so that's going to be, again, uh, a very upcoming soon video. So again, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can watch that. Uh, so we're just going to let this thing update and we'll come right back to it. So the update is done and complete. As you can see, we are running on Samsung One UI 4.0 with Android version 12. So one of the things I did notice on the very top is gonna to be this newer display brightness bar. So it allows you to kind of change your brightness and it says it's gonna be just a little bit easier. Uh, you can also tap on those three little dots. It'll take you into the settings of brightness itself. Now, one of the other things I remember reading from the main menu was talking a little bit about uh, Grammarly, things like that, that's inside of the Samsung keyboard. So here is the Samsung keyboard, even though I usually like to use Google or uh, yeah, Google messages. If we go right inside of the settings, one of the places you want to go to is the suggested text corrections powered by Grammarly. Just make sure that you turn that on. It was originally turned off. And as you scroll down, you can take a look at select third party content to use. This is where everything is sitting there from Bitmoji, uh, you know, Giphy, Spotify, Google. Then here's Grammarly again, the writing assistant. So you just want to turn this one on uh, if you'd like to use the, the Grammarly option there. Now, if you can't really remember everything that is brand new, because obviously I can't remember all of it, you know, after just reading all of it, uh, you'd be able to take a look inside of your settings, go to software update. Uh, inside of here, you can go to last update and this will give you everything. So we talked a little bit about like, you know, the Samsung keyboard. Uh, you know what, let's take a look really quick at that charging effects. Plug it in, let's see what new charging effect is there so it does look a little bit different so that's actually kind of cool to see uh, there's some other things going on with the always on display if you're to get notifications so I have to wait for notifications to come through there I believe I remember seeing something inside of the digital well-being as well uh, for a few things that is new so inside of here when you scroll down, you can see volume monitor. I think that might be new. Uh, if not, here's that driving monitor. So this is a way that you'd, as you are driving, it, it picks it up uh, and then you're able to monitor, you know, everything that was used inside of that drive. The other thing is if you open up the camera, which should pop up is gonna be this little green indicator. And it's letting you know that you are now using, uh, you know, a permission such as camera, location, and mic. So inside of here, uh, you'd be able to have that little green dot. If you go to video, then, you know, if you automatically went into it right away, you should probably see maybe two icons, one for camera and also another one for mic. And if you were to do any type of, um, you know, voice recording applications, you'll also see that little green dot as well. Uh, so now let's see, let's just kind of look at what these look like right here. So these icons look to be just a little bit different. You also have the ability of changing all of your your zooms down over here. It's so the the use, user interface of this one is actually just a little bit different inside the camera. I believe also it stated something along the lines of maybe widgets could be looking different. And so now this is what it looks like for widgets. It's all kind of categorized uh, a little bit better. And I know that this is new for Android 12. This is what I have on the Pixel 5 and the 5a. So there's your clocks, contacts, device care so you can take a look at all your different widgets things like that so i will still be going in depth on this taking a look at everything just wanted to show you a few things that you know i was able to remember uh from that last screen of all the different updates but yeah here we go beta version samsung one ui 4 
is now available uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. So hope you guys have appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.